Hi everyone, my name is Robert and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today we'll be quickly looking at the Viltrox 56mm f1.4 for Fuji X mount, but surprisingly and I'm a little bit late to the party Fuji have released a 4.0 update for the X-T3 um, which basically brings the autofocus of the X-T3 in line with the X-T4 personally I have to really admire Fuji for the update I'm a, a long time Sony user so coming from Sony um, little things Sony should update they just ain't updating they're sending you a new camera but Fuji is literally taking the X-T3 up to X-T4 levels which is a firmware update and being a end user I really appreciate updates like that and it gives me a lot of faith and a bit more love now for the Fuji system um, but anyway let's go straight into um, the lens first and have a look at the lens and then we'll have a look at the firmware so the 56 millimeter lens follows the same format as 23 and 33 millimeter lens it has the same body size and the same filter thread obviously it's slight variations in the hood um it's this example here you can see the 23 and the 56 side by side i had the 33 but i sold it and bought the 35 f2 fuji primer i didn't have any fuji lenses apart from the kit lens so i wanted to try out a lens there is some slight differences but we'll talk about that later on in the video so I got my 56mm just before the firmware update so I said I'm going to take it for a spin and see how it performs compared to the 23mm um, they perform very very similarly so if you've got the 23mm, 23mm it's the same lens I find the 56 a little bit sharper but you know it's really really minute um, one thing I have to say though is the face and eye autofocus it's a little still a bit tickly for me I've got some images I'm not sure if it's a lens or if it's just a little bit out of focus. I've got some images that are slightly sharper than others, so I think it's the eye out of focus. You've got to slow down and take your time with it. I've got some images which I'm going to put on screen now, as you can kind of see. So I'm, I'm going to show you these images. To me, they're a little bit soft, and it's, it's mostly going to be hard to see on YouTube because due to resolution. But I'm zooming in, you know, one to one, hundred percent, two hundred percent, and I was totally relying on the um, face eye autofocus, and I find some of them are sharper than others. Um, as you can see, I'm going to zoom in on a couple of images here and have a look. It might be me, it might be just a little bit finicky, but I find the IAF not a hundred percent. I say ninety percent, not a hundred percent. Also, I find the last three Viltrox lenses, the colours to have a slight. Um, greenish yellowish tinge to it so I'm going to show you two images here I've got an image um, from the 35mm Fuji f2 lens and I've got an image here from the 56mm as you can see the colors are not the same it's a slight difference it's only slight it's not really a deal breaker but it's just something to know so if you're looking to buy this lens, I know you've done your research and watched other YouTube videos, so you know the autofocus speed is very good. Actually goes far as saying it is better than quite a few Fuji lenses out there. And there is a slight problem with um, purple fringing, which can be fixed in post. But apart from that, this lens is excellent value for money. So just a quick note on durability. So I'll just watch this clip quickly. What's happened here, I've just changed the lens. I've put it into the bag, forgot to zip up the bag, talking to the model picks up the bag and bang the lens hits the floor i'm thinking that lens is finished but luckily the lens works fine apart from a little superficial damage on the lens hood and the aperture ring the lens works perfect and to me maybe i've been lucky but it's a thumbs up for durability and now for the firmware update so I've updated the camera and I've taken it on another shoot. This is a low light shoot. Um, I want to test the camera in a slightly, you know, a bit more challenging situation. What I found, yes, the auto focus is better. It wasn't bad to begin with, but it's actually gotten better. It's a little bit more responsive. Um, you, can, you can feel it in the camera. It feels a little bit more surer, but I'm still not 100% on the face and eye AF. So on screen now, I'm gonna pop a few images of um, a set of pictures I took in succession. And this is what I found. Every now and again, you get scenarios like this where you've um, taken a group of pictures and you've got some out of focus. And it's a little bit, you know, I've definitely got a green focus confirmation, but the pictures are out of focus. And it's just things like this make you not 100% sure on the autofocus system. I actually find I get better results if I'm using the spot autofocus and just turn off the face IAF. I'm going to post a video link just here where I shot with the 23 and 33 millimeter lenses about two months ago um, when I first got the system. And I have to say, even back then, I was impressed with the 23 and 33 millimeter lenses on the Fuji system. Um, the autofocus has brought improvements and I have to say it is really good now. So I'm going to show you a quick clip with some footage I shot with the 23 and 56 millimeter lenses with the new firmware update. Walking down this only road. 
Damn, they almost lost my soul But now that I'm in control What they gon' do? Can no evil hold me down? Let no evil hold me down When your world is on the ground What you gon' do? I won't go for anything That isn't in direction of the bone Don't never let So the, yeah, there's a definite improvement in the oral focus in the video department. And I'm not going to say it's perfect, but you do lose the subject now and again. And there are a couple of bits I'm going to show you now where um, it just loses the subject, I would say for no reason. But some of them are a slight extreme cases. So I find if you slow down, take your time with the lens, you've got no problems. So in summary, I think um, the update has really 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 push this camera to the forefront and it is now the best sub 1000 pound camera on the market bar none um i think the only problem fuji has is that io focus for me and i think it can be fixed in software because everything else works fine you know if you're using spot focus i have no problems with that so i think they just need to work on their um face iaf a little bit more work on the algorithm and i think the camera would be banging and yeah that's it for me if you like this video hit the like button if you've got any questions, leave them in our comment section below and hit the subscribe button to be notified of our future videos. So what do we always say? See you on the next one. Bye.